Oh, we blocked the seven nine. We have ace. We block aces. I might. I might. I might. Uh... Mm. We check back aces. I guess. Hey guys, we released a free poker course in five days. We're gonna improve your poker game. So if you wanna check out some poker material without any risk, without spending too much money to just see whether studying and, and poker is something for you, pre-flop, post-flop, ICM, mindset, bankroll management, in five days, we are gonna make you better. It's entirely for free, no strings attached. Go check it out in the description. Now, this video, I'm gonna be playing heads up against one of the best cash game heads up players in the world, a bit too easy. It was an honor to battle against him. And also please keep in mind, no matter how this session end, in general, when I do this, and it's very important for me to share with you, if I run well in cash games, that please do not think, oh, now I'm also gonna start playing cash games. I also do it a bit more for educational purpose, also for myself to practice, to, to improve my post-flop thinking and that's one of the best opportunities to do so against some of the best players in the world. That's where I learn the fastest. And of course it's within my bankroll. So you know, should not just be grinding $20 average buy and then jump into the L200 pool or L1K pool. So please take that into consideration. It's not like that I give myself a massive edge. No, actually the opposite way, of course, they have an edge of me on me and that's totally fine. But I'm doing that in order to improve my post swap skills. And I also think it's cool for you guys to see, to battle it out against the, uh, some of the best and, and then just learn and then and, and this will also help me to improve my post slop game because heads up it's very wide ranges against very wide ranges so especially in situations and tournaments like small blind versus big blind big blind versus button where ranges are relatively wide you will have a much easier time to navigate through these scenarios all right i hope you enjoy it let's jump right into it and see how i manage to do against bit too easy I mean, <laughs> okay, he could have ace nine off, ace seven off, one ace in hearts, and then the back to not flushes, right? Yeah, I'm gonna pay this off. I mean, ace three off. <clears throat> Yeah, he's definitely one of the best cash game high stakes players in the world and we can learn. That's good. All right. Mixing in some few traps here. Are we going to fall bet this, of course? One, three, three, seven. For the loots. Against the min race, we call. 
It's super easy to raise small for him. We have like ace four of ace nine, ace seven, king seven that we bet small. Um, so we definitely call it these ones. And also he should, he would usually slow down. What's gonna be his main blast? Like jack 10, jack nine. Maybe something like ace four suited himself. That's a great river. King, queen, king, queen, spades, queen, jack, spades, definitely possible. But uh, I mean, now the money goes in. The money goes in. In queen spades. Greedy, greedy. He's not even checking it. He wants to make sure he gets uh, the money from an ace. But it's good. I, I like his min race. Oh, that's a good river. <sighs> that's a good sizing because he knows he has a lot of bluffs. 7x, 9x, jack 10. I think I'm gonna call this. See, overbetting, he could overbet a queen for sure. He can still have a lot of 8x that lead the turn. So he can still have lots of value, of course. Well, the shit, a lot of bluffs. I feel like I want to fold 6-7 because the 7 and 9x going to be a big portion of his bluffs. So not having... If I have 4-9 or 5-7 suited or 6-7 suited, I would fold, I think. 6-4 is a good call. So there's a better call than other hands with a blocker to his bluffs. I mean, we just have to call down an eight, I guess. Uh, three, four, pseudo is gonna be the most likely, six, seven. Problem is the jack nine, jack 10. The jack is if it's not a jack nine or 10, I would call. Oh, we yeah, we're gonna call this. Hey guys, I also have insane news to share with you. Not only that, we start running today a cash game sale, February twenty first, starting but we're also gonna offer you the opportunity to play with us or play against us to battle it out for a 10k prize pool in several different sessions, uh, playing home games with us, the coaches, myself, and yeah, we get an additional prize pool of 10k that you have the chance to grab your piece. Check out everything in the description, how you can participate. So yeah, either check out the cash game sale that we're currently running uh, for The Apprentice, as well as the live cash game course, and this massive opportunity for you to battle it out for a lot of money against you. Super excited to kick your ass, and now keep enjoying the content. Definitely running pretty good against Bit Too Easy at the moment. Maybe we even want to raise this. Can definitely have some raises being so deep here. My raises would be ace, queen, king, queen. Maybe pocket eights, some very strong flushes, and that's it. And then some like ace, nine off, ace, ten off, ace in space, something like this. <clears throat> And river we also call, especially against the six seven, six fives, ten sevens, etc. If he has a slow play days, he has slow play days. Ah, uh, that's interesting. It's very greedy with his value. Very, very greedy. He's not value betting a 10. I don't think we should value bet this. Uh... Oh, 
Wouldn't that be epic? Wouldn't that be epic? Having a bit too easy on the podcast chat? Silence treatment. Nice value bet, nice value bet. But yeah, 6 for easy call. I mean, he has 10 9, 9 8. All these kind of bluffs. I'm gonna check this back. I really don't want to face a race from two pairs or that he turns something like Queen 10 off into a bluff. Um, with so much equity. I want to be a bit more polarized. And we can still bluff the river. <laughs> I think I might... I'm definitely gonna bluff this. We can value better any jack. Queens, kings. I feel like he's gonna call it when he's tanking like this. Queen eight, yeah. I mean, I would play exactly the same with uh, my over pairs, so yeah. No club. Queen, queen nine, queen ten. He blocks he blocks queens though. That's probably why he call it. Right? He blocks queens. You wanna block queens and kings here, yeah, I guess. gonna call river now as well i mean he's gonna have a like king six ten six etc he's gonna also gonna have flushes and boats and whatever but six seven that's unfortunate check back the flop is he gonna race is he gonna race anything Can have six five. He can have jack ten. I guess we re-raise. <clears throat> oh, you raise forwards. He probably had a two pair. We block aces. I might, I might, I might. Uh... Mm. Check back aces, I guess. Can check raise this flippachen. <laughs> oh, my nose is a bit running. I apologize. This, uh, how would you say, like the <sighs> flesh? <sighs> I feel like. He's 
not bluffing with spades. I don't think we have a bad hand to catch with. He's gonna have lots of crap that he delays bet. Six would per but six four, six seven, etc. I do think we wanna catch some ace and spades here. Four, five, and I sent. All right. I mean, it's mostly trips. Pocket eights, pocket nines. Like, honestly, I was also only making money now because I was running really good against him. Um, don't think that uh, I would give myself an edge against someone like Pitu Easy playing heads up. But it's a good learning experience. I'm, I'm trying my best and uh, that's how you get better. I mean, you shouldn't take shots at NF5K if you can't afford it, of course.